Stretching our natural hair is important to inconvenience because of the nature of our hair. In this video, I'm showing you two ways you can keep your natural hair stretched. I hope you find this video helpful. Please keep watching. Welcome guys, my name is Kezia. Thank you so much to all my subscribers for being a part of this channel. If you are new here, you are warmly welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe so that you can also be a part of this channel. So let's hop right into the video. So I freshly washed my hair and moisturized it. You don't need to wash your hair before stretching your hair. You can stretch your hair anytime you think it's convenient for you. So I'm going to divide my hair into two main sections. You will want to make sure that the lines are clear so that hair strands from other sections do not interrupt with each other because that alone can cause breakage. Then I'll divide each section into four main sections. So on this section, I'll be doing the banty knot. Banty knot is convenient and easy because you would not need any other extensions. All you have to do is to just follow some simple rules and you are good to go. So in order to do it, all you have to do is hold your hair from your root and twist it all the way to your ends. Make sure it's not too tight in order to avoid pressure on your scalp and your hair strands. After you're done, you'll wrap it around around till your ends are tucked in okay so that is it let's move to the next section we're going to repeat the same process here hold your hair from your root start twisting it all the way to your ends and then you wrap it around till your ends are fully tucked in okay i'm done with this section let's now move to the other section so on this section i'm doing the african threading the african threading is also quite easy to do but it doesn't matter if you are not able to do it so nicely because with african threading no matter how it looks or how it was done it will still stretch your hair so I'm going to divide this section into four sections as well and then I'll get my thread so with a thread you can use any thread of your choice so far as you can be able to stretch your hair all right so I'm going to hold my hair from my roots and then I will secure the thread with my thumb at the root and I'll wrap the thread around my hair little by little, little by little till I get it to my ends. Please make sure that it's not so tight. There should be some space at the root to avoid pressure being placed on your scalp all right so that's it after you're done you tie it you tie a knot and then you're good to go i'm going to repeat the same process here make sure that yo there is no pressure on your edges so i'm done i'm going to cut the ends to keep it neat then i'll leave it on for 
some few hours if your hair is very wet then you would have to keep it on for two to three days or more after some few hours I'm going to unravel the bantu knot so this is how it looks like after unraveling it it looks curly so people even use it for curly styles so slightly finger detangle my hair and then i'll use a white comb to comb it so this is how the bantu knot is looking like bantu knot does not really keep your hair so stretched so you can do it when um, you will not like to leave your hair exposed that can cause tangling and give you lots of work so you just do the banting or to keep your hair out of the way but the african threading it helps you to really stretch your hair so in case you want a style that will want your hair to be stretched very much stretched then you would have to opt for the African Jordan. Alright, I'm done now. I'm going to go ahead to finger the tangle with my hair slightly and then comb with a white comb. So this is how my hair is looking now. You can see the difference that the African thread and helped me to really stretch my hair as compared to the panty knot. So you can choose to do any of them depending on what you are looking out for. So that's all for this video. I hope this video was helpful guys. Kindly don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.